Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Battlefield 4 uh, benchmark results. This comes after NVIDIA recently announced the 337.50 drivers, which apparently improved DirectX performances quite substantially. In the background, you'll be able to see what I was doing as a benchmark. Obviously, this recording was not included in the benchmark, but it was exactly similar to what I was doing in the benchmarks. What I did is I compared the old uh, stable drivers, 335.23 drivers, with the new 337.50 drivers, with hyperthreading enabled and disabled, because I wanted to see if there was a difference uh, in performance. What I'll link below is my overclock.net uh, post where you'll be able to see all graphs and all the uh, data collected over there and some more opinions. So do make sure you check that out because it's going to be very important in terms of understanding the results. The results were actually very positive. I gained about a 30% uh, increase in my minimum um, FPS when hyperthreading was enabled and my lower score was uh, with hyperthreading off my minimum um, FPS of 2% increase but overall there was all positive results and it was very nice to see huge gains of up to 30% which is mantle-esque um, results. My system is a i7-3770K running at 4.5 GHz. I've got an SLI 680 setup. Uh, the game was running on Ultra with MSAA completely off, so AA deferred off, uh, but everything else was on Ultra and I was running on 1440p, so therefore the results, you should bear that in mind, it's not 1080p results, it's 1440p results, which is uh, actually much more stressful on the GPUs because of my 2GB VRAM limit. But anyway guys, thought to share you this video, especially my test scenario, and uh, inform you of this new driver. Do check out the thread as I said below, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe uh, to my channel to see more videos like this. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care, bye bye.